Hello, and welcome back to my learning block. We are here, and it is time to do some experiments regarding matter. Now, matter is anything that has mass and it takes up space, all right? So mass means it has a weight, and it takes up space means it takes up space. Yes, I am matter. I matter, you matter. Your child will understand that they really matter. Get my drift? All right, I'm done. I'm completely done. I know. I, I, I try so hard, I just can't do it. No, I'm joking. All right, so matter is anything that takes up space. And I'm sorry for a moment, but I have to let you know that we are all matter, all right? Matter can be defined as a solid, a liquid, gas, and to some, even a plasma. You can check that out later. I mean, Google it, it's, it's the greatest. No, nope, don't Google it. Find it here, my learning block. So matter, anything that takes up space. Um. Now, today we're going to focus on gas, all right? Gas, and I know you're wondering why the bowl of water, well, the experiment, all right? Well, gas um, is a state of matter that has no fixed shape or volume, which means it conforms to whatever the container that it is in, like water, but at the same time, it also conforms to wherever it is, and it, it doesn't have a definite, it's not fixed, it's based on whatever it's in. Um, and so, this experiment is to prove that gas is in this cup. All right, like I said, it, gas takes up whatever shape um, that, that, that fills it. And so this experiment is going to show that gas, in this case air, is, is in the cup. Can you see it? Of course not. Um, for thousands of years, humans believed that air didn't even exist, but then we realized that it actually did. So um, to move on, to take this experiment, I'm sorry, I gotta grab my handy dandy paper. You are going to need an empty cup, and I'm making it clear so you can see it in your child. When you're doing this experiment with your child, you can have an empty cup, I mean a, a glass cup, or you can have a plastic cup, either works. You can watch it or you can not watch it, either works. Sometimes when I'm working with my students, I actually use a plastic cup that, um, that you can't see. So when I put it in and pull it out, they're like, I bet it's gonna be wet. I bet it's gonna they start taking wagers and things like that. Not really, I'm joking completely. But they, they, they get very excited about the paper coming up and not being wet. Oops, I killed it, I spoiled it. Sorry, not really, all right? So, um, gas, my argument is that there is gas in this cup, and I'm going to prove it. And I'm going to use an empty cup, some water, and a large bowl-like container, a uh, bucket, anything, and a piece of paper. And I'm actually going to also use some tape. This is painter's tape. And the reason why I'm using the tape, you don't necessarily have to, but I'm gonna use it to keep the paper at the top of the cup. So I'm gonna take the tape as best as I can and hope that it sticks in the glass cup like that, how it's definitely not. All right, so there we go, working with fire. All right, so now it's um sticking. Then I'm going to simply take the paper, now that might be kind of loud, and ball it up as small as possible like so and i'm going to take this paper and jab it to the bottom of the cup sooner or later one day or another just like that so that the paper doesn't technically come out all right so you see the paper is stuck at the bottom of the cup um and so i have it there um and that goes to the to the actual experiment process. The first step is to fill the bowl with the water. And you wanna make sure that the water is the same, about at the same level as the cup. And what that will do is make sure that you're not cheating in any form or fashion. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna flip the cup face down over the container filled with water. After you do that, you're going to push the cup until it is completely submerged, and then you're gonna remove the cup and check the paper. It's that simple, five steps. So, fill the bowl with water, place a sheet of paper at the bottom of the cup, use tape if you need to. I don't really think I need it. Um, flip the cup face down, and you're going to hover it and simply drop the, the cup 
down all the way underneath the water. Now, also notice that it says, be sure the mouth of the cup is parallel to the bottom, which means it goes straight in. You see that? I'm not tilting it or anything like that because that can mess up the experiment or do anything else that you want to it anyway. All right, so I'm going to go straight down all the way in and I'm facing a little resistance from the water but the cup is completely submerged. You see it's hanging in under there. Um, and you can't really see, but as I look parallel, I see the paper just hanging out in there, all right? So I'm going to then remove the cup all the way, a little suction there, dry hand, goes into the paper, and not sure you can tell this, but the paper is completely dry, why? It is because air takes up space in this cup. And when I hang it on over here, right now the air is completely inside the cup and it is not allowing water to come in. And if it did, it will create bubbles like that. All right, thank you for joining me on my learning block, Getting Messy. Don't worry, I have paper towels all around just in case I make a mess. Um, I'll see you next time. Make sure you have paper towels too. Thank you. Bye-bye.